Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and today we're going to talk about some samples I had to buy full size. Um, every time I happen to have about five or so samples that I purchased full size, I'll do a little video. I've done a couple of these before, I'll, I'll link the playlist down below in case you want to see other samples I purchased full size. So I have about five of the products here. A couple of these I had one time use packets and fell in love with them. And one of these was actually something I used to absolutely hate in the past retried it again and fell hardcore in love with it. Um, so yeah, let's just talk about the samples I had to purchase full size. The first one here is the Retinol, the Rock Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Night Serum Capsules. So this was a one capsule packet. There was one capsule in here and I immediately was captivated. I had to buy the full size. Um, it's a capsule that has retinol serum in it that you use at night on your face, neck, and chest area, wherever you want to use your retinol. Um, it, what, I was kind of taken aback when I first opened the capsule because it's not a lightweight serum. It's more of like an oil, like it's a thick kind of oil that you kind of massage all over your face. I'm sorry I keep looking over here, but I feel like the camera keeps focusing on my plant and taking me out of focus. So I'm, I keep checking on it. Um, anyway, it's a kind of heavy duty kind of oil. It does sink into your skin nicely. I tend to use these as a night moisturizer almost. Like I sometimes don't even feel like I need to put on moisturizer because the oil is that heavy duty. It's not like thick or like gross feeling or anything. It's just a really heavy duty kind of oil that they come in. I personally enjoy that though. I also feel like they put the retinol in an oil to kind of buffer it a little bit because I know that retinol can be drying just as a straight retinol thing. So I feel like the oil is there to kind of help keep your skin uh, moisturized and hydrated. So I personally love it. Um, here are the capsules here. I did mention these in a video recently, uh, but here they are. They are expensive for what they are. The bottle's $30 for 30 capsules. Um, um, number seven just came out with some capsules as well. They're only $20 and you also get 30 capsules. I'm no mathematician, but that seems like a better deal. I don't think they had a retinol one though. They had a squalane, vitamin C, and two other ones. I purchased the squalane ones. I haven't opened them yet. Uh, but yeah, these are awesome. I absolutely love them. I think they're great. I did purchase the other capsules that they make, the hyaluronic acid ones. They're also awesome. I would purchase these again if they were on sale, if I had coupon or something, but I feel like a dollar a capsule is kind of a lot. So, I don't know. I don't know if I would repurchase these, but I really, really like them and I do not regret buying them for a second. I think they're awesome. The next thing I purchased with a one-time use packet is the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor. This is Fenty Skin's um, sunscreen. This literally was a one-time use packet. It just had this tiny little amount in it and I immediately fell in love. It's a sunscreen, an SPF 30 sunscreen, and it doesn't have that traditional um, sunscreen scent. It smells like cherries or something. I think that's how what I think that's the scent. That's how they describe the scent on the website is cherry. Um, if I had known that it was scented like cherry before I purchased it, I probably wouldn't have because cherry is one of those scents I feel that can be very very overwhelming. I feel like my concealer is creasing a little bit, um, and I probably wouldn't have purchased it, but. It does smell like cherry and it's incredible. Like they, if they made this in a body spray, I would buy it. Um, they did recently come out with the body cream. I purchased it. It has the same scent. I'm so happy because I love the scent of this so much. So not only does it smell amazing, it's SPF 30, use it every day. Packaging, look at this. Look at this gorgeous packaging. So beautiful, I absolutely love it. It is refillable as well, so you can just take this piece out, repurchase the refill, and then put it in your little container here. So you don't have to keep getting this heavy plastic package as well, which is really cool. Um, there isn't a lot that comes out when you pump it out. Maybe I'll just pump out one just to put on my hand. So when you pump it out, that's how much comes out, literally. So you do have to pump it a bunch of times, like look, there's two pumps. So you do have to pump it a lot to get the amount you need for your face or for your arms or whatever you're using it. I do use this on my face, neck, chest, arms, hands. I use it wherever I feel like it, especially just because the scent is so good, like I want to put it on my whole body. It sinks in really nicely. They do say it's a uh, moisturizer, like a moisturizing sunscreen. 
Personally, I it kind of depends on the day. Sometimes I feel like it's moisturizing enough and sometimes I feel like it's not. I tend to use it just as a sunscreen. Uh, but if you're going to put makeup on, I would say use it as your moisturizer because I think when you have all your skincare on and moisturizer and then you put this on as sunscreen on top, it's a little much and your makeup's not gonna look good, it's gonna feel heavy, this won't sink in that quickly. So kind of depends on what you're doing if you're wearing makeup or not, but I love it so much. It's absolutely incredible. I would buy it all day, especially because it doesn't smell like sunscreen. I don't mind that sunscreen smell, but I don't want, I don't, sometimes it's nice to have a change and that is delicious. I love the way it smells. I feel like it's very light as well. I don't think it's overly fragranced. It's perfect. Love it to death. Okay, let's talk about the thing I used to absolutely hate. And that would be the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser from Philosophy. I have had many of these little tiny bottles over the years and I've hated every single one of them. Because back then, I did not appreciate a non-foaming cleanser and this is not a foaming cleanser. As far as what I've seen, every, every time I've used this, it has never foamed at all. Um, it's really thin and lightweight and you move it between your hands, it does not foam no matter how much friction you give it. You put it on your face and it feels like it might not be doing anything. Rub it on your eyes and everything, rub off your eye makeup with it, and when you get out of the shower or you rinse off your face, you look up in the mirror and all of your makeup will be gone. All of it, residual eyeliner, mascara, everything will be gone. Um, and I never appreciated this back then because I did not like these kinds of lotion-y cleansers. It doesn't feel like lotion, it feels like a thin, face wash. It feels like it's going to foam and it doesn't. It's some, it's a really weird formula, but I really love it now. Um, and honestly, when I started using this again, because I had this little bottle, I was like, I might as well use it. I wasn't expecting to like it because I already know I don't like it. I ended up using these to wash my brushes with and wash my sponge and stuff like that. And that's what I was using it for. Um, and then one day I decided to try it because a co coffee break with Danny talks about this all the time where she used to and it was like her ride or die face wash. So I finally decided to try it on my face and when I got out of the shower, I was absolutely blown away by how all of my eye makeup was gone. Literally all of it, the lash line, everything. With zero irritation, it didn't strip my skin at all. Um, no residue, it rinsed clean. I was blown away. And then, I, I mean, I used every drop of this. I put water in here and shook it out, trying to get one more use. Um, I looked through my little skincare area and I didn't find any more samples. So, I decided to buy the full size. And they have several different sizes of this in their uh, line. And I went for the big daddy size. Like, I have literally never done anything like this in my life. Because normally, I know I'm going to get sick of this before I'm done using it. But I was so blown away by this, like I cannot, I can't stress enough how good this was to remove makeup and how easily it removed eye makeup with zero irritation. It was crazy. Um, I bought the biggest size that they have, the one with the pump on it. This is the 22 ounces. I used all of my Ulta points to buy this and I have no regrets, no regrets whatsoever. I kept looking at the different sizes and I was going to get the small one and then I was like, just get the big one. Um, even if I like want to put it away for a while to try something else, like it's I'm gonna have it for a long time. Um, it has a two year shelf life. Um, I think this is gonna last about that long, if not longer. Um, because a little went a long way. I didn't have to fill my hand up with face wash or anything. I am shocked. I almost wanna say, like I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think this is better than the Garnier Micellar Foaming Cleanser. And that's like my my holy grail, that's my benchmark for makeup removing face washes. That one, there's nothing like it, it's the best. But I, is this better? I, I oh my god, like it's absolutely incredible. Um, so if you've used this and you love it, let me know if you love it. I would love to know if you love it, because I, I'm shocked, because I used to absolutely hate it. Um, the next thing is the Trader Joe's Blueberry and Acai Facial Scrub. I know I have talked about this before, but I don't think I've mentioned it in a video like this where I talk about samples I purchased full size. But I got this in an advent calendar. This is a little tube of their face scrub. And Trader Joe's has put out the advent calendar the last couple of years. It's really fun. It's a bunch of different products, um, some that they carry regularly and some that are just for the calendar. 
Luckily, this is one they carry all the time because this face scrub, if you are looking for a dynamite face scrub, if you want something that you can feel scrubbing your face that rinses off pretty clean um, and smells like the most delicious raspberry, raspberry sorbet that you have ever smelled in your life or tasted in your life, you will love this face scrub. It's incredible. Oh my gosh. The scent alone. Oh my gosh. The scent alone is absolutely to die for. This one is brand new. This is just the scent. If they made a body lotion that smelled like this, I would buy it. If they made one of their body butters like this, I would buy it in a heartbeat. It smells so insane. Like sweet raspberry sorbet. Like that's all I can describe it as. And it's also a great face scrub. Definitely one of the best I've ever tried. I love it so much. Um, and when I had used this up, I was so worried that this was going to be just for the advent calendar, but it wasn't. It's amazing. Love it so much. And if you're looking for a great delicious smelling face scrub, I think you would like it. The last thing is from Innisfree, and this was a one-time use packet as well. It's the Youth Enriched Cream with Orchid. I keep calling this Orchid Cream, but this is what it is here. Um, this, I got a bunch of little samples from Innisfree. I really, really like Innisfree as a brand. Um, it's very rare that I've tried something from them that I don't enjoy. Um, and I really like this as well, if it'll focus on it. So it's just a moisturizer, uh, a nighttime cream. I. It doesn't say necessarily nighttime cream. I personally like to use this as a night moisturizer uh, because it is, wait a minute. Now that I opened this up, I don't, I don't know if this is the same thing. Hold on. Give me a second. I don't know. So this is the Youth Enriched Cream with Orchid, but the one I bought is the Jeju Orchid Enriched Cream. It's Jeju Orchid Enriched Cream. The sample is Youth Enriched Cream with Orchid. I don't know. This is the one that I purchased. Um, it feels the same, but I don't know why it has a different name. I don't know. It feels exactly the same. I love Innisfree's packaging. Most, a lot of their creams and masks and stuff come in this kind of jar with the same kind of lid. Um, this stuff is really, really lovely. Doesn't really have a scent to it. Here it is. I love it. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy, but I do like to use it as a night cream because it does take a minute to sink in. And I feel like it doesn't sink in fast enough for me to do makeup with this moisturizer on. Uh, but I really, really like it. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I really enjoy it. But why is it a different name? That's weird. I don't know. Maybe by the time I use this and the, by the time I bought this, they repackaged it. Who knows? Anyway, either way, I like it. But that is it. Those are five samples I recently purchased full size, or maybe not recently purchased full size. Some of these I've had for a long time. But these are five samples I purchased full size. Let me know um, some samples you have purchased full size or not purchased full size. Samples you loved and hated, I would love to know. And that is it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later in another video. Uh, goodbye.